Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College with your free market update. We're gonna talk about day trading on this video. I had a new student join my mentorship program a few weeks ago, and he'd already been doing some day trading uh, previously, but without any success whatsoever. So on this video, we're gonna talk about how you can become a day trader um, very quickly in a space of one hour. I can teach you the strategies, and we're gonna do those right now, and I'm gonna show you how to day trade the markets in this video. So sit back and let's dive into day trading strategies. Okay, so first things first, let's look at the timeframes that we've got up on our charts here. Now, we've got the one hour chart on the right hand side and we've got the five minute chart on the left hand side. Now. If you're unsure what a day trader is, a day trader is somebody that's going in, in the morning time if you're in Europe, that's when we get the most volume in these FX markets, in the DAX and the FTSE. And we're looking to go and make a day's money as soon as possible, okay? So we're looking for momentum moves. Momentum, i.e. we're looking for quick market moves, long or short, okay? So on the one hour time frame on the left hand side we this is the first step we want to look at where the one hour time frame is going and you can see here i've got momentum indicators at the bottom of my chart i've also got the pro train system green and red white signals here um, on the one hour time frame but really what we want to do in the morning time we want to look for our storyteller it's called the storyteller indicator because it's giving you the story of what's happening with price so it has these yellow lines on it as well. They're measuring reversal divergences. So as you see this light green signal here, that was early this morning. We had a light green from a red, which means momentum up. What happens in the German DAX this morning? We have an up move green here, an up move here at 8 a.m. The market moves from 1580, uh, 15580, um, all the way up to 16680. Now that is a hundred point move, guys. Now. Even if you got half of that, 50% of that, you would have had a nice morning. 50 points, if you're doing 10 pounds in a spread bet account, you're at 500 pounds in about 10 minutes. But that's not the point. The point is we're just trying to learn where momentum's taking us so we can make trading much more simpler, okay? So you get that momentum move first thing in the morning and then we're looking for that explosive move, okay? So once that fires, we're looking for that move. now. Let's have a little look at some other markets because maybe the, you know, the DAX market is a little bit uh, lively for um, some traders. Now let's look at the pound versus the US dollar. Now you see here, what is the 60 minute time frame signaling first thing this morning? Now remember this is a, an hourly chart, so each bar here is one hour's worth of the candlestick. So we've got three hours worth of momentum trigger up on the storyteller. Let me just open that up for you. So there's one, two, three, okay? So three hours up. Three hours up means that we're looking for three hours up on the five minute. So as we go over to the five minute chart here, we're just looking for the green pro train system buy signals to confirm the move. The bigger time frame is leading, the five minute time frame is your entry. So when you get the pro train system buy green from a red, you go long. Your stop placement will be identified with the pro trend system. If you don't have that, you can have to put it underneath the pivot. And then you're looking for your day's money, okay? So momentum's up. Now momentum is continuing here as we speak on the pound US dollar. But there's a couple of pieces to the puzzle that we have to add to this. Let's take a little look at some others first. Um, let's go to New Zealand CAD. It's not a day trading market that I particularly um, trade. But what's the one hour doing? Remember step one, what's the one hour doing? Momentum, nothing. We've got white pro train system doing absolutely nothing, means chopping sideways. And we've got no momentum firing up like we did here, or momentum firing down like we did here. So we wouldn't trade that, okay? Not as though I do trade the New Zealand CAD, sometimes I do, but um, on a bigger time frame. But we wouldn't do anything for this example. We, we would avoid because the one hour is not pushing. Let's have a little look at some others. Crude oil, which is a great market to trade. I've been trading that a lot recently. Okay, let's take a little look at the one hour. What's the one hour doing? Well, yesterday on Monday, we had this beautiful move higher here 
I was going long yesterday only because the momentum was up. Now, what about today when you get to your charts? Well, the momentum is fading away. So there's no long trades. You could actually do some short trades here. 87.40, 87.10 was the low. I mean, that's a 30 point move. Multiply it by 10, that's 300 pounds profit, guys, in the morning session. So we're always looking at step number one. Where is that one hour time frame going? Dollar yen, this was a good one this morning. Look at the dollar yen firing down this morning, red five minute sell signals, okay? So the momentum's not up, the momentum is down in the dollar yen, so short side trades. So if you can use the one hour time frame for that direction and that momentum, then you could be on the right side of these five minute entries. You're going for momentum. Let's look at the Dow, Wall Street. Now, I'm gonna show you another concept here that you need to look at. You see how we got the momentum triggers on the 30th, 31st, and then you know we got the first here, we're pushing up as well, 31st into the, the 1st of February, which it is today. Now we've got a nice momentum move this morning, that's fine, but there is an issue here. We're making lower highs on the storyteller. So this is where I would say to a student, um, you know, the, the new students that are starting on the day trading program, is that this is where you back off the long side trades. As prices make new highs, but the storyteller is making lower highs, you stop doing long trades. You could even try and do a quick short scalp trade okay so looking at the one hours keeps it really simple for you and then you're entering on the five minute time frames and we can you know look at absolutely any market euro yen let's take a little look at that chart today okay what's the five minute the, the one hour doing yesterday at two o'clock we just had buy signals we had another buy signal today pushed up here and then we've just come down a little bit here okay so you can see how it's fading away here on the euro yen as it reaches new highs, that's telling you that the market's going to reverse. So this one here, you might have got to stop out for 10 points, but let's think about this. And money management is crucial when we're doing these momentum trades. Let's say on some of these trades, like the, the oil trade, we had like 30 points profit, um, and then we had on DAX trade, let's say we didn't get the 100 points, but let's say we got 60, um, and let's say the pound US dollar, we got 25 points. I mean, that's a nice amount of points profit there, okay? So if you start working out, you know, the total number of points made, I mean, let's say 115, and then let's then look at the loss. Let's say we did a loss of 15 pips. You can see that the gains are much greater than the losses, okay? So this is how you can, this is how you can certainly get started as a day trader really quickly looking at momentum on our storyteller indicator, combine it with the entries on the ProTrain system on the five minute chart, and you can really then you know, get on the right side of these momentum trades. Dollar CAD, which is a cracking market to trade the dollar CAD. What's it doing this morning? Well, at seven o'clock we fired off momentum moves. Yesterday we had momentum moves, all right, to the downside. One down here, another momentum move this morning. Okay, the third piece really, because we spoke about the one hour, uh, giving us that momentum early in the morning and then we're speaking about the five minute as an entry but what about the daily that has to be step three guys we have to keep our eye on the daily chart let's have a little look at um uh i don't know uh, the euro dollar okay so let's go and take a little look at the euro dollar i've been long the euro dollar by the way it's been momentum up okay so monday momentum up here, momentum, 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 another momentum move overnight and higher. But look, we're starting to get these yellow lines here. So this is, this for me now is, you know, we've had wave after wave after wave after, it's just getting tired in this one hour time frame. Storytellers making a lower high. So I'm gonna back off any long trades on this market just for now. But there's another reason. If I then go to the daily chart, because this is the piece of the puzzle that you need to add. If I look at the piece of the puzzle that's so crucial for your day trading, here's the daily time frame of the euro versus the US dollar. We made a low, which is here on the storyteller. Okay, so we'll label that one. We made a new low a few days ago, and we'll label this one number two. 
But the storyteller was giving us very angled, sharp yellow lines. So that was telling me, look out for a reversal back up at any point, okay? So that's what it means. That's the momentum is waning to the downside. We're gonna kick back higher. Let's go to our one hour time frame. Well, okay, well, here we go. We get the momentum up on the one hour, momentum up on the one hour, momentum up on the one hour. So mixing the daily in with the one hour and then entry on the five minute gives you such great risk reward and you're gonna make more winning trades because you're trading with momentum. Let's go back to the daily. Now look at the daily now on the, the, the Euro. Let's open it up for you a little bit. The Euro versus the US dollar. You can see here it's going straight into a moving average. It's the 20 period moving average that I'm using here. Now that is a resistance area. Okay, let, let's get me thinking here. So if I'm into a resistance area on the daily chart and the one hour is just starting to lose momentum, maybe it's time for me to back off this Euro dollar. I've made my money all day yesterday on it that and oil, maybe now the euro is going to have a little bit of a consolidation because we're coming into what we call resistance, all right? So that's the missing piece, guys. You've got to look at the daily. So all you're looking at is the daily, one hour, and the five minute for your quick entries to get in the trade. If you're doing two or three trades a day, you can quite easily make your day's money and be done by 10 o'clock in the morning if you want to. All right, so hope it helps. Um, let's take a little look while we're here at the swing, swing trading positions in the pro train system. Okay, so I've got our radar screen up here. Uh, we're literally looking at all the signals from a swing trading point of view uh, on our pro trading system. The euro dollar has been really nice. It's, it's up 62 pips profit on that, on the swing on the last move down. Pound US dollar is up 109 pips, dollar yen down 60. 95. The big gain is really Euro Yen, 109 pips profit. Um, pound Japanese Yen, once again, 157 pips profit in a couple of weeks. Really nice move there, guys. Um, and look, look, this is by far, <laughs> by far, I forgot about the Pound New Zealand because we've been all over this. It's up 867 pips profit in 37 days. An incredible, incredible move higher. And on Scan Club last night, it was all about just trying to get more entries into this market and try and load the boat long on that pound New Zealand. Euro New Zealand up 418 pips, guys. Really, really nice moves. Um, you can see it updating here in real time. If it's green, it's making that amount of pips. If it's red, it's losing. You can see the greens far outweigh all of the reds here, which is what we want for you swing traders. But this video really is all about day trading. I hope it helps. Um, and that's how you can simplify your day trading. We're gonna be doing more of this uh, next week at our Learn to Trade Live event. Again, we're gonna be doing two evenings next week. We did three last month. We're gonna be doing another two next week for you for, for day trading and swing trading, guys. So come and join us. It is a free event. Make sure you turn up because they're very well attended. All right, speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great rest of the day.